If you, you know, if you were chief secretary of Delhi today, you know, this is this is undeniably, uh, you know, a, a, you know, a day unlike many others. As far as this is like, like I've been saying all evening, this isn't just one government replacing another. This hasn't been just any ordinary election. If you were, if you were still the chief secretary of Delhi, what would your sentiments be today? Uh, uh, you know, looking at the Aam Aadmi Party coming to power and also the things that have been said since Arvind Kejriwal was sworn in. Well, it depends uh, what is the demeanor with which the uh, ministers and the chief minister deal with bureaucracy. Yeah. The bureaucracy, the senior bureaucracy has been appointed, well, the IAS officers certainly with the constitutional background and they come appointed by the President of India and their job is not to carry out orders. Yes. Their job is to point out what has been the past policy, what are the benefits and the risks of making any change, and to carry out orders within the rule of law. Now, if the chief minister and other ministers respect that fact, I think they would get, and I would have given, full support no matter which government comes. It is not the prerogative of any particular political party we have to, as bureaucrats, respect whoever yes. has come with a mandate. But if there is misbehavior or any witch hunting or victimization, then certainly it puts the morale of the officers down. And what they are really paid to do is to bring out systems, processes, the background, the institutional memory. Yes. That is their job. If they are prevented from doing that job and they are expected only to carry out orders, then they are not doing the job for which they were recruited. And the kind of security and the kind of, you might say, uh, status that senior officers are given is not merely because they have grabbed it. It is given because they have two masters. One yes. is the political executive, but one is also the state. It is their responsibility to serve the state. In the Westminster system, they serve the crown as well as the ministers and the prime minister. This is exactly the same situation here. Yes. You have to see that the rule of law is abided by. Uh, Alik Padamsi, uh, you know, uh, th 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 there's been a sense of euphoria uh, regarding what happened, which, you know, uh, uh, do, do you share the euphoria of what's happened or are you cynical? Because a large section, uh, you know, is cynical saying, you know, lack of experience, this lofty idealism, you know, will be caught up with, this, you know, when the ground realities really bite. What do you think? Well, <clears throat> I must say that it was, uh, I would like to uh, vote for Kejriwal up to now as uh, the miracle man of the year. Now, having said that, I'd also like to say, but it's not just votes, he's got the votes, wonderful. And he's now the chief minister, but now it comes the time for action. Action is what we want. Bhashan Band, Kam Shuru, this is what we want to hear. Not only corruption, I would like to point out, mm. but incompetence. I've been saying for years that it's not just corruption. America is corrupt. The mafia, uh, there was uh, 1920, it's coming on to 100 years of the mafia. The mafia is still there in America. <laughs> but I'm sorry to tell you, the mafia seems to be very efficient because people actually side with them from time to time. Okay. But take a tip, I would say to Kejriwal, take a tip on efficiency, take a tip from JFK, John F. Kennedy, who's one of my heroes. When he was asked, sir, you run America, he said, I do not run America. I run the cabinet and the cabinet runs America. Now, if he has a good cabinet, an efficient cabinet, there's yes. no harm in taking people from the private sector who never brought in a single vote. But putting them in competent positions, I think Kejriwal, I hope, I keep my fingers crossed, Will okay. succeed. You're, you're saying Bhashan Band Kam Shuru. Uh, Harish Bijur, uh, are you hopeful of that? Given you know, given what you've seen, you know, there's been a lot of lot of things said, a lot of symbolism. You know, some people call it gimmickry. Other people say that you know, the the Aam Aadmi has never seen this sort of thing. That's why it seems like gimmickry. But this is how Netas should always behave. Do you think these lofty promises and ideals, uh, you know, are something that Arvind Kejriwal and the Aam Aadmi Party are likely to stumble on? You know, I am with Arvind Kejriwal when he's really talking of the metaphor of the, for this nation, which is really, you know, uh, anti-corruption, etc. Uh, 
the Aam Aadmi Party, Kejriwal and the Jhadu are typically metaphors. These metaphors need to convert into governance and then governance needs to result in actual action. Yes. Now, you know, there's going to be a gap between each one of these. And I think that is going to be a worry because, you know, uh, the first piece of action is, of course, on the Lal Bhatti. I think this is a very symbolically right action. And I think it conveys everything positive about the Aam Aadmi Party, about Kejriwal, about the Jhadu. But then, you know, there are cosmetic changes and solid changes. Cosmetic changes are going to be easy. Solid changes are going to be more difficult. And the bureaucracy is the first bit which needs to be managed, handled, guided, yes. and governed. And I think that's a task which Kejriwal has cut out for him very, very clearly. You know, Surjit Bhalla, the, uh, Delhi is not going to, the people of Delhi won't ex, uh, you know, accept inexperience as an excuse for inefficiency or anything that goes wrong. There's going to be a zero margin of error. Nobody's going to say, oh, these guys are new, so you know, let's give them the benefit of the doubt or a little bit of elbow room. Uh, given that, what are the things that concern you the most as far as governance in Delhi is concerned? Uh, and, and, and I'll get Rahul to respond to you. Yeah. No, the first, you know, I want to agree with Rahul and everybody else that this is a transformation day for India. Yeah. Uh, not only for Delhi, but a transformation day for India, especially in the political realm. Uh, what worries me uh, is the, the action part, because the action part, the political realm is now over, if you will. They had a clean campaign, the they transparent funding, yes. and they won. Now, if you will, the action has to be on the economic side. And you know, here's where, as per the earlier discussion, what worries me is that you know, Kejriwal is and the Aam Aadmi Party, from whatever documents I've read, and I've got a whole pile of them. So if Rahul yes. wants to question me on this. I'm more than happy to yeah. answer. Very quickly, is, just name two of your It's to the left of the Congress. Yeah. So if you will, the ideology of uh, the Aam Aadmi Party is very, very worrisome uh, in terms of whether they'll be able. Uh, to achieve any of their objectives. Okay. And one last point, I mean, since the KGWAL has said maybe we'll wait till Monday when the water policy is and announced. Tuesday power. But yeah. from whatever the water policy has been announced so far, uh, it seems that, you know, it is for the middle class and for the upper class and for the rich. Yeah. Uh, the poor, there are about 20% of Delhi people okay. who do not have any pipe connections okay. to water. Uh, specific so points why, So let me finish. Yeah. So why is it that the Aam Aadmi Party didn't feel compelled until now, and even now they have not, to say their first task would be to build pipelines Infrastructure to necessary people. to distribute the water in this way. Okay, specific questions. I'm going to take a very quick break because I have to at this point. I'm going to come right back and go to both Rahul Mehra as well as Minakshi Lekhi and get responses on this particular thing because Nitin Gadkari also has said, uh, he hasn't just made these allegations, he's also said that they're going to struggle and uh, protest against this particular government and take it to task at every level and every opportunity possible.